kids, I'm Bob the Tomato. And I'm Larry the Cucumber. Welcome to Veggie Tales. Today, we got a letter from Rachel. Oh, huh? What? Arg. Prepare to be boarded. Avast, ye regular hosts. We're pirating this broadcast. Surrender now. Arg. Hi, guys. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, You're the pirates oh, who don't do anything. Oh, You're not supposed oh, to actually oh, pirate oh, anything. Oh, We've changed our ways. We've been convicted. Actually, we've been bored. Not doing anything is boring. Arg! Arg! Prepare to be not bored! We're in charge! Arg. You know anything about this? <laughs> well, I knew they were getting antsy. Antsy! Arg! Antsy's in me pantsies! Arg! Hey. Oh, look, I'm glad to see you guys are finally doing Arg. stuff. Uh, but couldn't you go swap some barnacles start. or something? Do you have to go this far? Oh, uh, come on, Bob. We're new at this. Yeah, give us a break. We couldn't think of nothing else. Well, scrapbooking, but that's hardly appropriate. That wasn't an actual suggestion. I'm just saying, you can't lose the memories, man. So, you want Larry and me to just step aside while you take over the show? Well, Larry can stay if he puts on his eye patch. <gasps> Arg! Oh, yeah, right. You're a pirate, too. How silly of me to forget. Uh, look, I don't know. Come on, Bob. Give us a shot. Before we sink back into inactivity. Interminable slothfulness. Oh, all right. But I'm staying right here and supervising. All right. Oh, this is gonna be great. You won't be sorry, Bob. Nobody wears an eye patch like me. Ah, read the letter. Oh, thanks. Right. Hold on a minute. Uh, this is a letter from Rachel Paxton of Muscle Shoals, Alabama. <laughs> Rachel asks, Dear Bob and Larry, I'm in the second grade. Oh, isn't that cute? She's in the second grade. I bet she's adorable. There's a new girl in my class. She's kind of peculiar, and my friends don't like her. I know God wants us to be friends to kids who have no friends, but if I'm nice to her, I might lose my old friends. What should I do? Has she tried throwing a scrapbooking party? That might loosen everybody up. Uh, maybe you can wait until your friends aren't looking and then smile at the new kid. That's it? That's all you got? This is harder than it looks. How did you expect to host the show? Well, we didn't think ahead this far. We only got up to the part where we swiped the letter. Maybe you should help him out a little, Bob. Oh, all right. I think Rachel is asking if God can help her in this situation, or if she'll be worse off by doing what he asks. She's really wondering if she can trust God. Oh, yeah. Uh, P.S. Can I trust God? Man, you are so insightful. Wait a minute. I just thought of something. What if we tell Rachel a story? <laughs> that might help. That's worked in the past. I like it. Let's tell her a story. Good one, guys. <gasps> I got it. A true story my granddad once told me. It's an amazing tale of a man named George Mueller. George Mueller? I've heard of him. He trusted God for everything. Shh! Don't interrupt. This was a man who trusted God for everything. I'll be over here if you need me. He lived a long time ago in a land far, far away called Bristol, England. Whoa! Holy mackerel! That was cool! Good one! Nice job! Uh, that wasn't my story. I didn't really know much about Gideon before this. You didn't? Well, I knew that he left Bibles in hotel rooms, but that's about it. Oh, oh right, yeah. right. Okay. But how does he yeah, get yeah, into I'm the rooms sure. without a chimney? Okay. Yeah, there, and there's that, too. That was an awfully nice story. But whose was it? Hi, guys. I figured you might need a hand. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, <laughs> that was that tomato. She's always good for a story. Oh, yeah. Glad to help. All in all, you guys did a pretty good job. Not bad for never having done anything. I'm feeling a renewed sense of vigor. Not not doing anything has never felt better. Hey, way to go on the silly song. I don't want to talk about it. Why not? It was funny. Those cute little wiggly turtles. Yeah, hilarious. Uh, let's drop it and move on. I'm telling you, you're a natural. What? It's time to talk about what we learned today. And so what we have learned applies to our lives today. And Rod has a lot to say in his book.
book is holy, 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 holy book. Nice. You see, we know that God's word is for everyone, and now that our soul is then we'll take that looky, 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 look. We are different colors. Isn't that incredible? <laughs> Super. Okay, here goes. Uh, in the story of George Mueller, we learned that if we're doing what God asks us to do, he'll meet all our needs. Way to go. Well put. And in the story of Gideon, we learned that if we're doing what God asks us to do, we can trust him with the outcome. Mm, he's a pro. Let's see if QWERTY has a verse for us today. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not depend on your own understanding. Seek His will in all you do, and He will direct your paths. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. So, Rachel, I think you should show kindness to the new girl in your classroom. Being kind to everyone is something God asks all of us to do. And if your old friends don't like it, then you can trust God that He'll help you find new friends who will. He makes it look so easy. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Wait! Hold on a sec, Bob. I want to thank you for allowing us to do something. You're welcome. It's been nice seeing you guys show some initiative. Speaking of which, now that we got one story under our belts, I was thinking... Ta-da! You want to make a movie? That looks hard. Yeah, I don't know. That's a lot of work. Oh, come on. Doesn't it get your pulse going? Don't you want to be up there on the big screen, sailing the high seas, fighting scallywags and ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> That's all the time we have for today. Remember, kids, God made you special. And he loves you very much. Bye! Are you serious? If I can get the funding. <laughs>